Hey guys, Angie here with Angie Makes. Today I was just going to go over really quickly how to use short codes with our themes. Short codes are just a um, really easy way to achieve different functionality without knowing any code, so to speak. But in our themes, for example, we can add columns, um, social media links, contact forms, all sorts of things, just via using a short code, which you can copy and paste. And in our themes, we actually have, if you can see here, I'm on a page, I'm editing it in the WordPress editor. Up here, there's a brackets. There's these sort of brackets. And if you click the down arrow, you're gonna see columns here, various elements, posts. We can um, insert, I guess, your posts in different masonry styles, um, different boxes. These are gonna be to highlight any text. You can put text in different boxes. Um, here you have some highlight colors, you have dividing lines, you can even add accordions, tabs, and spacing, make some content full width. We've just got all kinds of goodies baked in here. You can keep it as simple or make it as complicated as you want. I'm just going to show you how I would achieve three columns. I'm going to come here to one third, one third, one third, and I just clicked that. And you can see it's inserted some code into my page. And I'm just going to replace this content with my own text here. And you will see, as I refresh the page and look at the front end, I'm going to hit update. And then I'm going to view the page in the front end. There you go. Um, all of a sudden here, I have three columns. And that's just that dummy text that I copied and pasted, OK? So let's go back to my page. I'm going to actually undo that. So I'm just going to highlight the text and delete it and I'm going to come over here you can see there's just different um, column widths okay and different numbers of columns you can add pretty easy um, I'm going to add a Google map here okay and I'm going to hit enter to go into a new line I'm going to add my social icons and I'm going to add what else can I add oh a solid divider I'm going to add oh Okay, some tabs. Okay, oops. And sometimes it can get messy. I always like to hit enter between each short code just so that I can sort of keep my place. Okay, so here you can see the tab short codes. This is the first tab, so I can put my content here and the second tab, my content there. And I'm going to update it, and you can see kind of what I did there and refresh this page since I made a bunch of changes. Okay, there's a Google map. There's my all my social icons. And then here are some tabs, and you can switch from one to the next, and it displays your different content on each tab. So, again, this is just a very brief flyover tutorial on what short cards are, are and how to use them. And certainly you can just add whatever you, your heart desires here. Um, just a word of caution, sometimes if you use too many on one page, it can get to looking like you don't even know what you're doing here, and there's just a lot of code. So you might keep that in mind. Um, just try to stay organized so that you know what is what. And also, one other thing before we go. Here, for example, this divider line, you can see there's just some different parameters you can put in a top margin, you can put in a bottom margin, and um, oops, you can just put 30 pixels, you can just put pixels there. Different short codes have different parameters, and while I'm not going to go into all that today, you can certainly um, customize even the short codes that we've built into our themes. So, hope you enjoy using short codes.